Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about an all new wetsuit from O'Neill, and actually an all new neoprene as well, which is quite exciting. Um, it's for fall 2022. Uh, the suit isn't actually in yet, O'Neill have kindly lent us the suit just to do a bit of review, have a little look at, uh, and then obviously we can bring that to you, and then as soon as the suit drops, we'll let you know, and there will be a link in the description below where you can check it out. But essentially the suit is the Hyper Freak Fire. So you might all be uh, quite familiar with the Hyper Freak. It's been a really popular suit, probably our most popular suit across water sports users, but particularly with surfers because it's just so flexible, but also really, really warm. The neoprene within that, within that suit has been the Techno Butter or the TB3 and the TB3X. So now the all new neoprene is the TB4, makes sense, and the TB4X, okay? Now this neoprene boasts more heat retention and more durability. So some of the sort of people that were only sort of failing with the Hyper Freak sometimes with the TB3 and TB3X was it was a, a little bit fragile, but uh, they've looked at that, they've increased the durability, but it hasn't apparently affected the flexibility in any way, shape or form. So we're gonna run you through the Hyper Freak Fire. We'll take you through all of the ins and outs of the suit. Um, and I will tell you inside how to have a little look as well. It's also available in a back tip, which is kind of cool as well now as well, so that's exciting. Uh, and uh, have a little look and see what you reckon. So if you aren't familiar with the Hyper Freak range, uh, the Hyper Freak is known for flexibility. It's got absolutely tons of range of movement and it's just basically one of the most flexible and comfortable wetsuits on the market, but without losing any warmth. Uh, so how do they do it? It's basically they use a Techno Butter neoprene or the TBX3 neoprene and the TB3 neoprene, okay? Now, essentially what that is, it's a neoprene with lots and lots of sort of air cells within the rubber, which give it a lot of insulation and a lot of flexibility. And also the jersey, which covers and protects the neoprene, they drop out a lot of the fabric which allow more movement okay so less restriction and allows it to dry quicker as well but that is one of the things that can or did make the older wetsuit a little bit more fragile so you get the tb with the hyper freak which is still going to be sort of carried on within the range by the way you're still going to get the tb3 and the tb3x neoprene traditionally you've got the tb3 and the neoprene in the center part of the body and then the tb3x under the arms over the shoulders where you need a little bit more flexibility it's a little bit more of a fragile than neoprene because it's got less of that jersey on it. So that's why they put it in sort of places which are less prone to sort of damage or rubbing against your board or anything like that. So going forward into the uh, Hyper Freak Fire, uh, you now have this new TB4 in the body and the TB4X under the arm. So similar construction, but obviously with the new neoprene, which boasts more heat retention and also more durability within the sort of neoprene itself, okay? Now this neoprene is gonna be exclusive to the Hyper Freak Fire, just so that you know. Um, the Psychotech and the Blueprint going forward into fall 2022 is also gonna contain that new sort of upgraded TB4 and TB4X. But uh, looking further into the, um, the Hyper Freak Fire, that is essentially the neoprene within the suit. The biggest difference between this Hyper Freak and the old Hyper Freak is all this firewall lining. So this is Techno Butter Fall firewall lining, which you've got going pretty much all the way down the suit from head to toe. When you're coming and looking a bit closer from the chest, going down the torso and around the groin and hips, and also around the back, you'll see this is slightly thicker raised firewall lining. That's gonna really increase the temperature and make it a lot warmer. It feels almost furry, that stuff. So they've cracked it and made the winter wetsuit that you dreamed of. Nice and warm with the Hyper Freak. Okay, so we've looked at the new neoprene within the suit, um, and we've also looked at the lining, which are probably the two fundamentally biggest differences um, in the evolution of the Hyper Freak into the Hyper Freak Fire. Uh, but there are lots of other little changes as well. One of the things that hasn't changed is it's still a plus suit. So you've still got the extra half mil of neoprene uh, that you had on the Hyper Freak. So you've got the 5.4 plus, what that actually means is you've got a little half mil of extra neoprene on the lower body and the uh, upper body. So it's actually like a 5.5, 4.5. Uh, because the neoprene is so flexible, they can give you that little bit more thickness just to really insulate, and give you that extra warmth, okay? So if we walk through some of the other things going on, see, one of the other things you'll definitely notice, the, tip, the old type of freak was internally taped with like a flat taping, uh, a techno butter taping. Um, uh, that's gone. The inside of the suit is no longer taped. You've got standard sort of stitching. They don't need to do it because on the outside of the suit, you've got that sort of old school liquid taping. So you might sort of have a little look at that. 
and uh, that's what helps increase the durability okay that is traditionally known it's an old and tried and tested method uh, basically gives you that sort of uh, rigidity on the seam make sure that you're not going to get any water weeping in through the seam which would be particularly useful when you're sitting on your board typically the crutch is a place to go because it stretches out um, so that's going to be a thing of the past. This is sort of typical on Psycho 1 suit, which uh, pushed a lot of people towards the Psycho 1 for that extra durability. But the cool thing is you've now got that in the Hyper Freak and that's top to bottom. OK, uh, one of the other things worth mentioning, you have now got the back zip. So you've got that old school Zen zip system. OK, so for people that prefer the, the sort of ease of getting in and out of a back zip, you have got that option in the Hyper Freak Fire with the Zen zip. It's got quite a sort of a short zip there with the back wing that goes up and over your head. Uh, the under construction you've got, grab the Kelly suit here, you've got the old uh, fuse technology, which you'd be familiar with, which is the chest entry, which is typical on the Hyper Freak, um, the old Hyper Freak, basically. And uh, that's just an over the head system. Essentially, you've got the sort of chest panel, which goes up and over the top. Um, and then any water that comes in through here, instead of going into the suit, it's guided out uh, through the side of the chest panel, where you've got these little drain holes here. Um, down on the corner of the suit basically which let water out of the chest entry system moving down the suit you've got some of the traditional things that you would uh, sort of expect which is the duraflex knee pads um, just really robust material which stop the wear, wear and tear on the knees which is typically where it goes on the kids suit you've got the bonus of little elbow patches as well uh, around the collar you've still got the roll neck collar or glide skin collar which they call it which is essentially when you have two pieces of neoprene on the collar okay on the inside you've got that nice smooth panel there and what that does it's going to sticks to your neck and because there's two pieces of neoprene the outside moves independently stopping this piece move up again up and down your neck and stops chafing and creates a better seal around the collar okay so still got that technology within the suit but yeah that's essentially um kind of everything that's going on in terms of the outside or the construction or the features of the suit um, on the Hyper Freak Fire. Okay, so up next we'll be looking at the eco-conscious part of the wetsuit, which is obviously quite important to a lot of people. Um, so th what they've done this time around is they've put the eco-friendly carbon lining, which is that nice furry stuff that we were looking at inside the wetsuit. Also, it's made from recycled plastic mixed with recycled oyster shells and recycled spandex. Um, the dyeing process is dope dyed as well, which means less water is, is used and wasted in the process of making this wetsuit. Um, so it's a lot more eco and environmentally conscious now. So we're loving the Hyper Freak Fire. Okay, so essentially that's everything going on within the Hyper Freak Fire. You could go into a lot more detail, but just as a bit of an overview, uh, just to introduce the suit to you. So we hope you are as impressed as we are. It's a really nice suit to have within the range. You've obviously still got that flexibility, but what sort of held some people back with the Hyper Freak is because it wasn't as warm as some other suits because of the lining. They've now added the lining and maybe it was a little bit more fra fragile because of the sort of the type of neoprene. They've now added that taping and they've sort of tackled that problem of durability. Okay, available, as we say, for men, women and kids. And you've got the option of a back zip and a chest zip as well, which is really cool. Um, price wise, it's not going to be the most cheap suit. You can imagine, you knew that was probably coming. Um, we're looking at a winter suit, the 5.5, 4.5. So the 5.4 plus um, is coming in at about 3.79. Obviously, that'll be a bit cheaper with the sort of 3.2 and the 4.3 going forward. But, you know, it is a premium wetsuit. But that is the Hyper Freak Fire. As soon as we get the other suits in, in terms of the Psychotech with all the new sort of like construction there as well, we'll drop a video on that. But for now, that is the Hyper Freak Fire.